returning to the Cavaliers. The Cleveland Plain Dealer has reported it's a two-year, $5 million deal for next season with a player option on the second year and also includes a no-trade clause. LeBron was happy about the signing, tweeting the following. Welcome back, brother. Happy you're sticking around. Hashtag the land. Hashtag strive for greatness. Stephen A., how important is this re-signing? Well, that depends on which JR shows up. Is it going to be the J.R. Smith that can score 28 points, uh, the entire 28 points uh, that Cleveland's bench provided in the playoff game against the Atlanta Hawks? Or is this the J.R. Smith that showed up in the finals where he was desperately needed and he was an absolute no-show? When J.R. is on, he's an incredible asset. When he is off, he's a nightmare. It's just that simple. And I'm not talking about his character because contrary to what people believe, I think J.R. Smith is an incredibly nice guy uh, whose heart is in the right place most of the time, doesn't always make the right decisions, but he's a really, really good guy. It's just that he's one of those individuals that when his jump shot is not falling, he literally appears to be a guy that forgot how to play the game of basketball just because his jump shot isn't, floor, isn't falling. He forgets to rebound. He forgets to go to the hole. He forgets that he can hit free throw shots. He can get that he can, he forgets that he can drive to the basket and create contact and cause havoc that way. There's a lot of things that he forgets all because his jump shot is not falling. And to me, that's the problem with J.R. Smith, which is why I don't understand for the life of me, Skip, why the Cleveland Cavaliers gave him a no-trade clause. What the hell did you capitulate to that for? That makes absolutely no sense to me. J.R. was in no position to make any kind of demands whatsoever after his performance in the NBA Finals. He's lucky that he has the job that he has right now. He's lucky that it's a two-year deal, a player option after year one, because based on the way he looked in the NBA Finals, I guarantee you there weren't going to be any major suitors knocking down his door to get him. He can play better. He has to play better, and he has to be learn to be more versatile than just a simple jump shooter. He's better than that, but he doesn't show up like that in key pivotal moments on far too many occasions. I get it, but I like Jr. I believe in him so as, as a guy and a basketball him. player. Th this is a big talent now, and and I look, he's become a spot up <laughs> three point shooter for LeBron's team because they need that. But he's a very valuable cog. And I got to tell you, I think they stole him for $5 million a year. I think that's a bargain, wouldn't you say, for what for, for what he can bring when he's... Remember, all these yes. three-point shooters run hot and cold. When he runs hot, man, he can run crazy hot, valuable hot. Th those three series before the finals, the three playoff series, he shot 40% from three through three series. And he had the eight out of 12 against Atlanta you talked about in that game one. Then he shoots 29% against Golden State, including that 0 for 8 in that pivotal game four in mm, Cleveland yeah. when they could have gone up 3 to 1. I get it. I, I know, but, but you, it's, it's who he is and isn't, and, but I accept that. I still think LeBron's. I don't. Yeah, well, but, but LeBron's tweet, I think, was, was from the heart. I, I think he really and? wanted JR back. Yeah, I'm sure he did. This ain't dear Abby. I don't give a damn how he feels about it. I mean, the congratulations. What he's supposed to say, and I'm sure LeBron genuinely feels that way. That's not the point. We're evaluating basketball. And one of the things that we have to pay attention to, and I would ask you to pay attention to this, Skip, is J.R. Smith has been around long enough now. Have you seen his game change in any way? No. Nope. At some point in time, could you do me a favor and develop a handle with your left hand? Mm. Can you develop a handle with your right hand? Can you show the ability to really handle the rock and create create stuff for yourself off the dribble as opposed to a pull-up contested jump shot? Can you do that? I mean, you get paid millions of dollars. You ain't doing anything else. You play basketball. Develop your game Stephen the way a. the great ones do. Mm. Sorry to cut you off. We have to go. J.R. Smith's deal's done. Tristan Thompson's is not. More first take after the break.